Hallelujah, glory to God. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honorin. I have a prophetic word for someone. God says this pain has just been someone suffering for long. This pain has just been someone suffering for long. This word is coming to someone. You've gone through pain, you've gone through situations, through difficulties. And God is saying, Everything that happens to you is supposed to be a blessing or a lesson. And if it is a lesson, it is a blessing in disguise. Because you learn the lessons that you had to learn from the painful situation. But the problem is, the moment you don't learn the lesson from the painful situation, from the trials, from the stormy days, if you don't learn the lessons, you end up just going through pain for nothing. So it's not because you lose the reward. You lose the, the, the sight of what was supposed to make that experience a blessing to you. So what was meant to be a blessing just ends up being you suffering for long. What was meant to help you, to make you, to give you capacity, to give you, to strengthen you, to make you stronger and better, ends up being something that just broke you and shattered you into pieces because you did not learn the lessons. I don't know who this word is for, but you might be listening to me now, watching me now, and you are still in the midst of going through some things, or you've been through some things. God says, don't waste the pain. Don't waste the lessons. Don't waste the trials. Don't waste the, 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 the storms. He says, you are supposed to ride on like, like, like the eagle spreads his wings and, 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 and soars in the storm. That's what you are supposed to do. When you learn the lessons, you learn how to walk on stormy waters. God says, don't waste it. There is more to it than, what, than, than the pain that you felt. Sit back down and look at that situation again. Look at that experience again. Look at that pain that you went through. That suffering that you went through. And ask God, what is in this for me? God will minister to you. God will talk to you. Hallelujah. I hope you receive this word with gladness. God bless you. Shalom.